Hi, I'm pastor and author Robert Scott here in Edmonton, Alberta in the cold before our doorway, our home. Now I come from South Carolina originally and we always say, y'all come, y'all come, y'all come. And it's a beautiful thing, you know, this invitation. And you know, we come, when people come into our house here, they, sometimes they're smiling, sometimes they're going to collect something, they're going to write something down, sometimes they're not happy, sometimes they're coming for counseling and they need help and they're not too smiling. But you know, when we go into the door of God, He says we come into His presence, He wants us to come in thanksgiving. Now we do need to lay down problems to Jesus, but we can come before our Father with thanksgiving. And that's what we need in this end time. Things are heating up in the world. Things are getting really bad, and we know that there's darkness, we know that there's a lot of problems in the world, and that some people are scared, and a lot of Christians are scared. But you know what we need to do is to learn to rejoice. Laughter is one of the best medicines you can have, apart from Jesus. And the joy of Jesus in us, when we laugh, when we sing, and we praise, and we dance before Jesus, we defeat the enemy. The demons cannot stay around dancing. We've learned it when we see children laughing and dancing in church. There's power there. It's the greatest form of, of spiritual warfare. We had people that were attacked recently by 90 witch covens. And the only thing that saved them was to get together and to dance and to praise Jesus and to laugh. We did it at church the other day. We, we saw Satan as he will be when he becomes a man and is thrown into the lake of fire. Where the whole world is going to say, oh, you're the one that destroyed the kingdoms. You're the one that made the nation shake. And we just laughed at him. Ha, 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 you think you got us? No way. We've got the victory over you. But how many Christians have enough courage and confidence to laugh at the devil? Not many. They're scared. Oh, he might come get us. Oh, the devil might be behind the door. Well, when you walk into God's door with thanksgiving and praise, the devil can't stand near you. It's about time that we believers rise up as true believers with praise, with thanksgiving, with joy, and even with laughter. Because laughter is a powerful powerful force for health and for blessing. So learn to laugh, learn to rejoice, be happy, and walk with the love of Jesus and his joy. We hope you'll all take that advice and it will change your life. God bless you.